Well, I hope you're enjoying the day. It's a little bit on the dreary side. We definitely had a lot of cloud cover. This is a time lapse from earlier today, and you see the clouds dominated the sky. A few peaks of sunshine here and there, but generally a mainly cloudy scenario. And under some of those clouds, we do have a few showers, but we're expecting the coverage to pick up as we work towards the afternoon, heading into the evening. Here's 5 o'clock, and as you see, quite a bit of green showing up on the map, and that's going to continue through tonight. Here's a view at 10 o'clock, and then things begin to taper off a bit because a front that's going to stall out across the area through the afternoon is going to move north north as a warm front into early Wednesday. So we should get a break in the activity for a good portion of the area. But if you're north of the south side, there could be some morning showers there. But then an area of low pressure is going to slide in with the cold front by Wednesday afternoon and evening. That plus the heat of the day and all the moisture in place should be enough to trigger a few more scattered showers for your Wednesday second half of the day. And we're going to keep a few showers in the mix for Thursday, but not as much as what we could see today and tomorrow, considering that that cold front will be east of the area. This is a look at the heat index values from earlier this afternoon, right after midday. We had heat index values in the low 90s, even though temps were in the low 80s, and it's because it's so muggy outside. So just be careful out there. Generally, though, we'll keep the temperatures in the mid 80s, but again, with the humidity, it's going to feel hotter. Periods of rain, expecting more of a coverage through the afternoon, and keep the umbrella handy through about Thursday. Gets cooler, though, to end the week, but still above average. It's typically a high should be in the low 70s. We'll warm it up again by the weekend. Have a great one.